Ryan here. I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on the SSL bus compressor. It's probably one of the most popular bus compressors out there. It can be a little complex to learn how to use, but uh, hopefully I can clear some things up for you and get you started. All right, let's take a look. This is a really popular compressor. It's probably the most widely used compressor. Uh, it's probably one of the easiest to use, um, and it's actually my favorite. It took me a while to understand it, um, because it seemed a lot more complex than it actually is. And I think what's also a little bit confusing is how many different theories there are on this and how everybody's got a different opinion. I'll give you my take on it, um, and you know you can take it from there. But basically, the first thing I would say is get your level, your overall levels around negative six, negative eight. You don't want to be slamming your mix before you hit your compression. You want to leave enough dynamic range, enough headroom, and it'll allow you to get um, a louder mix if you send it off to a mastering engineer or if you master it yourself. Um, so first, let's take a look. If you look over here, this is um, look at this these levels here as we play back. I've got the compressor off. And this is hitting around negative 13. That's a really quiet spot. Negative 11, it's a little bit louder. Negative nine. So you can kind of see it's in this range. It doesn't have to be precise. So what we're going to do first is all, I guess we can just kind of, I'll, I'll step you through the process. So let's turn this on. First thing that you're going to want to do is hit the power button. And then you're going to want to go down here and you're going to want to select your ratio. Now, the smaller the ratio, the less compression, the higher the ratio, the more compression. You generally want to stay around 2 to 1 to 4 to 1. I like 4 to 1. That's what I do. Um, it's safer to start on the light side and then go heavier. I doubt you're ever going to want to use 10 to 1. Um, so I, I stick it right up here in the middle. Um, I leave this knob alone. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is decide your attack and your release. This is the toughest thing to understand in, in compressors. And I still feel like today I'm just beginning to grasp it. And I've mixed quite a bit of things. Um, but let me just give you my take on it. So the attack here is how quickly the compressor, um, how quickly it, 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 it compresses your mix. And the lower the number is the faster the attack. The higher the number, the slower the attack on this compressor. Some other compressors have different settings, but on this one, this way, it's really, I mean, it's compressing every tiny little thing. So this is going to crush your mix. This is going to le let a lot more things through. It's going to let transients through and things like that. I have seen a lot of a lot of engineers who love to have their attack like down here in this area. I just don't like that sound. It tends to kind of suck the life out of everything. I, I kind of like to keep it anywhere from here to here. Um, honestly, I, 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 I used to, you know, push it down here to 30. Um, I kind of like this setting right at 10. I've noticed a lot of engineers use it there, and honestly, you can kind of leave it here at 10 milliseconds, and it'll work on everything. Um, when you leave it at 30, it's going to let a lot more of the transients and, and uh, through the mix. Um, a, a setting would be something like this. A lot of compressors like this, it's, you, it'll, it'll have a pumping effect. Um, but honestly, to be safe, I would leave this release on auto and either keep your attack at 10 or 30. I keep it at 10.
and I keep this on auto. Um, some guys will bring the release up to 0.6 milliseconds. Um, they say to use your ears. Honestly, I just get frustrated. <laughs> I, 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 you know, the best results, the most consistent results I've had is leaving this at auto and leaving this on 0.10 or 30. And if you notice in these presets, um, Chris Lord Algae, he will have it set at 0.10 have the ratio at four and on auto. And if Chris Lord Algae likes it this way, that's fine with me. Um, and if you look at, let's see, the mastering setting, it's this four ratio, auto release, and the attack is on three milliseconds. So it's attacking a little bit more. I would recommend here or here. This is really the safest. Now, what is the release? The release is um, controlling how quickly it releases the compression. So if uh, the, the, quicker, the, the quicker the release, the more you're gonna notice, like if you have a slow attack and a really quick release, you're gonna, you're gonna notice the pumping. Um, and uh, like if you have a really slow attack here and then you have this, this setting on the release, you're going to kind of get that, like this is a, that's a great setting for hip hop by the way. It's going to have more of a low-end pumping kind of a sound and less of an even sound. Whereas this is just going to have a more even tone to it. Um, they always say to use your ears. When you're starting out, um, I, would, I would stick to this. Um, now, what is your threshold? Your threshold is basically your input gain. Um, so let's turn it, if, if you turn it all the way to the right, that basically, um, the compressor will not be hitting. You want to watch this needle here, and when it starts to move, you bring your threshold down to apply more and more compression. All right? Okay, so let's, let's turn this all the way up. And this analog button here, by the way, um, will... When it's off, you're going to get a cleaner, more transparent digital sound. And when you turn it on, it's going to kind of warm up your mix. It's a little, it's, 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 it's almost like an analog saturation type of thing. So, again, we start with our ratio. I would say either 2 to 1 or 4 to 1. I stick with 4 to 1. It's a safe bet. Leave this alone. Set your attack to either 10 or 30. And leave it at auto. Really, if you're doing hip hop, go to 30 and go to six. Everything else, I would stick with these settings. All right, so then what you wanna do is you wanna play back and watch this needle here. And we're gonna bring down our compression till we see it just moving, see it? See how that's all the way up? Just crushes the mix. On something like this that's really delicate and orchestral and um, kind of somber, kind of mysterious, you really don't want to be crushing it here. And I, honestly, even on a rock track, you don't want to be doing too much more than two decibels of compression. Um, maybe go to four on some really loud moments on, you know, if you have a kick drum or like a, a taiko drum, but you just kind of want to see the, the needle dancing a little bit here. Um, now, We've got everything set here. We've got our threshold set. Now the next thing is called the makeup gain. Basically, this is our our volume knob, um, and 
what you want to do is when you set when you get your compression settings set, you want it to be the exact same level as when you didn't have any compression. Um, so a good rule of thumb is to once you have this all set, kill your compressor and play back. And now A B it with it in. See how that got louder? You want to turn it down. Now it's the same volume, but it's a lot more even and glued in. And that, my friends, is how you use an SSL uh, bus compressor. It's really not that difficult. So just to review, you want to make sure to leave it off, get your mix to be you know, in, in the loudest moments to be, you know, around negative six, negative eight. See how I'm kind of bouncing around at negative 8.2. I could have probably raised it a bit. Um, then once you're happy with that, set your ratio to two or four. I set it to four. Um, decide whether you want this analog on or not. And set your attack. I prefer to have mine between 10 and 30. You're welcome to mess with these settings, but I, I find this is a, a much better sound for me. And the auto is, is I, that's what I prefer. It does a much better job than, than, uh, than trying to use my ears to find the correct release. Um, and then set your threshold, bring it all the way up here to the right, and then slowly bring it down until that needle just starts to bounce. Um, and, you know, use your ears at this point. See if you want a little bit more compression, a little bit less. Watch this needle bouncing. Don't really let it go above four decibels of compression. And then turn it off and turn it back on while it's playing back and A-B it and adjust your makeup gain so it's at the same volume. And that's usually a great setting for your, your bus compressor. I hope that helps. Um, you guys have a great day or night or evening or <laughs> wherever you are. All right, take care.